It's been another marathon, final negotiating session at another COP meeting, so some things don't change. After two weeks of talking involving almost 200 countries and the participation of nearly 50,000 people, weary negotiators and weary campaigners are heading home. As regards to the role of the global ocean under climate change at this meeting, this is what's been agreed. The Paris Agreement includes recognition for the ocean within the preamble, a part of the document that is not legally binding, and in the agreement itself under the banner of ecosystem integrity. This, say campaigners, provides a solid basis to move the ocean onto the agenda for future meetings. I've been to the COP15 in Copenhagen and it's, it's amazing because there was nothing at that time about ocean and five years later, six years later, we are here with more than 50 side events, ocean on the text. So I think it's a good start. We, uh, we are going to move forward with the Because the Ocean initiative, hoping to go to Marrakesh to the COP22 with a bunch of 30 or 40 countries supporting the ocean uh, on the climate negotiations. We are very glad why because uh, since uh, about uh, 10 years, it is the first time that um, the world ocean is reintroduced in uh, the text of uh, the official uh, convention. We just are in the first step of uh, looking at the ocean as uh, one of the solutions for the future and sustainable development. Many signs of hope around here, with people who are talking about it, all around, I, I, I'm listening, I'm listening, and I hear the voice of the people. And there's a growing sense of caring, which will lead to positive action. However, the wording calls for countries to keep global warming well below two degrees centigrade above pre-industrial levels, and to pursue efforts to limit the temperature increase to 1.5 degrees centigrade. This is seen as the highest rise tolerable to avoid irreversible acidification and to protect vulnerable ecosystems like coral reefs and vulnerable people such as those living on islands. Well I think it's one of these moments when you, you look back on something where the world came together yet again but, but we've come together differently I think. Uh, we, we have got more recognition of the oceans but I think there's two things I would leave everybody with and the first is that uh, the ocean needs people, but people need the ocean. And the only way that we're going to make these things happen is how the community has come together, how they've pulled together to make sure in an integrated way the ocean becomes more of the, more of the debate. And I think my second point is we're, we're, we're here in Paris in December, and COP21 isn't just for Christmas, it's for life. And it's for all our lives, but it's also an important step up. So we have seen progress, but we know that it's still going to be, the, the consequences of the decisions are still going to be too warm for the ocean. So what I hope is that people will leave here, but also come back in 2016 rejuvenated. Rejuvenated because we now need to do what we said we would do, which is bring the conventions together. But on the plus side, for the first time there is a built-in review mechanism which requires countries to report back on their progress in cutting emissions every five years. Ocean experts say the real work starts now, but that this is a significant moment. I've been uh, an active player in the, um, in the climate world for a very long time, and of course I've been following this conference for a very long time. And I feel very happy here in Paris because I've got the impression that we have turned the corner. Probably one of the uh, things we should be more proud about, this work has allowed us to, to play a very educational, a very relevant educational role towards the politicians and the leaders. They have got the message, the world is much more complex, everything is interrelated and of course climate is very dependent on the ocean systems. I think this was a historic game changer to have all the countries here with their national contributions, that was key. That we got an agreement that people will follow up at every level and that is supported by efforts on the sub-national level, on the corporate level. So we now need to move this forward. So that is the key success is really this com contribution of everybody to make it happen. Experts on ocean science, ocean policy, 
and finance, reflecting there on the prospects for the ocean to be better reflected in climate change challenges in the future following this COP21 in Paris. Oceans Inc has been broadcasting for the last two weeks from these historic climate negotiations and will be back in future to focus on progress going forward. Thanks for joining us.